Hey guys, it's Chef. And when I was in Belize, I was snorkeling with a full face mask when most other people were using normal snorkel gear. In fact, our snorkel guide asked me a question about my full face mask when we finished. As soon as we wrapped up, he came up to me and he said, how much does that cost? I told him that they're getting a lot more affordable, but I did not know then that I was gonna be looking at a 30 to $40 snorkel mask from Vanker. Vanker sent me their mask and they wanted me to take a look at it. Here's the thing that got me really excited about taking a look at their mask. The first mask I ever tried had a totally curved front, but every other mask I've tried since then has a flat front, and I've been pretty disappointed in how it distorts your field of view around the outside. Now I know some people have said that they prefer a flat fronted mask, and there's maybe different reasons why, but I totally prefer the curved fronted mask. Last night, I was trying out my snorkel masks with some people who had taken full face snorkel masks with them on trips to Thailand and on trips to Hawaii. They have used the flat fronted and the curved fronted masks and they said that without question, they totally agreed that a curved fronted mask is a totally different experience. Being able to see without the distortion around the edges is way better than having the flat front. So that brings me to my point. I got sent this mask right here by a company called Vanker or in French, Vank. Vanker is a company that asked me to try out their mask and I was so excited to see that it was a totally curved fronted mask. This mask is pretty basic. It works just like all the other masks. It has water draining out the front if you need it. It's got the silicone piece on the inside that seals the air so that the fog goes down and this part stays clear. And it's got the breathing tube. This is not the most well-built mask. It has some issues. It's really hard to connect the breathing tube to the mask the first few times you try it. When it comes to attaching the breathing tube to the mask, it requires quite a bit of force, kind of like opening a jar. You have to really hold on to the mask real well and wiggle it back and forth as you try to get it to seat on the breathing tube. So as you hold on to them really well, you get this area right here where it has to seat perfectly. If there's a gap there, you still haven't done it correctly. In fact, if you flip it on the back, there's a little clip and it doesn't actually snap or click in, but you can actually see if you've pushed it down far enough if it reaches to the end of that clip. So this mask is a little bit hard to put together. The first time you do it, you're gonna be a little frustrated because it doesn't just slip right on. But once you've done it a few times, it gets a lot easier and easier as it goes and it works fantastically after that. And I noticed that with this mask more than any other mask, I've had a hard time keeping the seal going right here around this area and keeping the fog out. I have to wiggle the mask around and adjust it a few times to make sure that my breath stays down and the part up top stays defogged. But once you figure it out, it works fine. One thing you'll probably notice about this mask is that there's no place to attach a GoPro. Most of the other masks have a little attachment spot right here for a GoPro, but they didn't forget about it. They have a small GoPro clip here where you can take your GoPro and attach it right onto this, and then this clips directly onto the mask. All you have to do is pop it over there and slide it on. Once you have it on, you slide it down to the bottom and it fits just like every other mask that has a GoPro mount. I actually find this to be really convenient. I like sometimes to be in the water when I have this attached, and sometimes I like to be able to hold the GoPro to get closer to items or to turn and aim it at my children or myself. So when I'm in the water, it's really easy because I can just slide this up and I can take this off and then I have my GoPro with me in my hand. And when I want it back on my mask, I just clip it on and I'm ready to roll again. So they didn't forget about the GoPro. It's actually a handy solution to being able to get your GoPro on and off quickly while still being able to hold it nice and stable. This mask is the most affordable mask of all the masks I've tried. It's a really good deal but they've also included an extra discount for those who want to buy the mask after they've seen my video. So just for a short time after my video is posted on YouTube, there's gonna be a link in the description where you can buy this mask for $30. $30 for a curved front, full face snorkel mask is an amazing deal. In fact, if you're someone who's thinking about trying it out, who's unsure if they want to do full face snorkel mask or not, 30 bucks would be a great way to see and test if it's something you like. I think this mask measures up with all the other masks. Like I said, it's hard to get the mask on. It's not the exact same as all the others as far as build quality, but it works fantastically well under the water and it does what you want it to do. I would say this mask is one of the most fun masks I've had to review. It's a curved fronted mask, it works fantastically well, and it also is really, really affordable. So if you're interested in picking up a full face snorkel mask for cheap, 
check out the link in my description. This is Chef, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. Now, I want to give you an opportunity to buy this mask at a really, really cheap price. Now, I was asked to look at the mask, but my review of this is totally honest, it's totally my own. I'm free to say anything I want about this mask. And I really do think that once you get past the first time you're trying to put the mask together, you're going to really love this mask. So, if you want to buy this mask at a great price, there's a link to Amazon where you can buy the mask. But you're also going to find in the description that there's not a discount code. Now, the company wanted to give you such a good discount that they weren't comfortable with just posting the discount code right there in the description of my video. They want you to send an email mentioning my name to be able to get the code. That way they can see exactly how many people watched my videos and how many people are interested in buying the mask based on my videos. So if you send them an email to get the code, that helps me out. If you send the email, get the code, share it with friends and family, and you don't buy it yourself, that's fine too. But let them know that you know about their mask because of me. It helps me out a ton, helps me make more videos for you guys. I really appreciate it. Again, thank you guys for watching.